Hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. It's Sunday, oh my, it's gonna be a super Sunday as well. Today is absolutely jam-packed, loaded, full of amazing shows. It is, of course, the last day for the In For A Penny, In For A Pound, and this show is absolutely jam-packed full of incredible penny and cent deals. So can't wait to share all of those with you. Brand new fabrics on the show as well. But as always, uh, you know, she's part of the furniture on a Sunday morning here at Crafters TV. Bernie's with us. How are you, Bernie? Hey, Joe. It's good to be back again. It is. I've just shared the post of the um, show saying this is my favourite time of the week, and it is. I absolutely love it. I don't know what I'd do now on a Sunday if I didn't have softer side. What, what would I do? I don't know. What would you do? <laughs> I'd probably sew. That's what I'd It'd do. It'd be like Sunday <laughs> without roast potatoes, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. Would. But Sunday is a sewing day for a lot of people, I know. So thank you for everyone who watches us every week. Awesome. What sort of stuff then are we going to be learning and going through in this uh, next hour and a half, Bernie? We have got so many deals on today's show that we can't even probably go through all of them. But we are going to do bags. So we've got bag dies on the show. This is one of them. This is the carpet bag die. We've got the shape creators, both sizes, the large one, which is not many left. And then we've got the junior one. So we can make circles with that as well. So if you haven't seen that before, keep an eye out for that. And also we've got some shape cutters on the show as well. So you can make something like this cushion. Nice, We've got absolutely all gorgeous. All sorts. I'm, I'm torn for what my pick of the show is. I've whittled it down to three now. Right. So I don't know whether I'll get to one, so I might go even with all three later on. All right, you can <laughs> let us know as we go for it. Everything's Bernie's pick of the show, uh, apparently. We're going to start, though, with uh, these <gasps> most amazing, gorgeous fabrics. They are off the chart incredible they are liberty fabrics now for anyone uh that isn't aware so liberty fabrics come from uh, the liberty department store in london which opened in 1875 uh, and is now regarded as like the best fabric there is uh so um it's all uh, hand drawn in london uh, and produced on the banks of lake como in italy i know talk about quality right uh it's absolutely beautiful um bernie's going to take us through it in more detail as we go through i'm going to share with you the options that you've got they are all half meters now the great thing is if you order these if you order multiples of the same one then you will we will cut them by the meter for you but you don't have much of a luxury when it comes to this because a lot of them are selling really, really fast. 20% of the Hampstead Meadow has sold out and gone. So if you want that one, be quick. Uh, th this one here is the Forget Me Not Blossom, as you can see there, pink. Half the stock of that one has gone. This next one I've got for you, this is the Arley Garden that you can see just here. Really beautiful pretty prints on that one 20 percent of that one has sold out and gone you've then got oh now this is very kitsch this one isn't it? this is your mary rose loving that cream tone that you've got running there half of mary has gone this is your emily silhouettes really lovely kind of almost wild flowers uh, in this one it is the most scrumptious cotton it's just beautiful i mean it's like the inside of a puppy's ear isn't it bernie uh, that's your emily silhouette flower half of that one has gone we then have now this one is right up my street it's definitely got a bit of a 70 vibe this 75 70s vibe this one uh, and it is the cosmo flower i just love 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 the pop of color in that one and again it is absolutely buttery soft and delicious uh, this one here is the Hampstead Meadow Blue that you've got. Again, really lovely uh, ditzy prints on this one. Uh, very, very busy there. The next one is your Wildflower Field. Half of the Wildflower Field has gone. One of the most popular uh, options. Got a bit of an Oriental vibe to it, this one, with the colourways that are in there, which I think is beautiful. You then have... This is your wild flat. This is your field... Uh, field Rose, this one. Is that right? Yeah? Field Rose, excellent, brilliant. Uh, really lovely, like a cornflower blue, that one. 20% of that one uh, has gone. The, this is your Chelsea flower that you've got here. Really lovely, dense uh, type pattern on this one. 20% of this one gone. Uh, be quick for that. This one's beautiful. It's like watercolour flowers, this one. And again, uh, really, really beautiful. This is the Mamie, this one here. 20% of that one has gone. We then have... This is your Malvern Meadow right here. 
a quarter of this one's gone. Again, so beautiful. The quality on the print is absolutely off the scale. This one here, this is your Kensington Gardens that you're looking at. Very classy, this one. Very country kitchen, this one, isn't it? A quarter of the stock uh, of this one has sold out and gone. This is your forget-me-not blossom blue that you've got just here. 20% of this one has sold out and gone. And this one, oh, beautiful. Suffolk Fields, really tiny, tiny prints. All designed in London, manufactured in Italy. Beautiful, beautiful quality. Uh, absolutely stunning. You're going to love it. If you wanted to go for one of each of them and you're a platinum member, 10188 or 149. 88 if you're stateside so you'd get free shipping and handling free postage and packaging on that individually 849 or 1249 becomes 679 or 999 absolutely beautiful as i said if you're multi-ordering uh, on individual patterns there we will cut them do our best to cut them by the meter for you to give you more options which is great i want to share with you some of the the uh, threaders liberty collection that we've got here now uh, this is not liberty fabric it's our threaders fabric but these are have been curated this um collection to really complement the colours that are in the new Liberty fabrics that we've got for you. 1078 or 1350 as a platinum member to get those. You're getting one of them for a penny there. Uh, also the Shape Creator. It's limited stock I'm afraid. It really is a, a staple when it comes to our soft side of live shows. Uh, if you want that you will need to be quick for it. We also have some suede effect fabrics. Uh, there's some, a multi-buy here. Any two of these for £17 or $22. You can go for the black you can also go for the red, or you can go for the mustard as well. Beautiful. Uh, do grab them. They are low in stock there. Now, I want to give you some heads up on some of the incredible Save a Stitch in for a penny offer here. Now, they were £40 each, which is excellent. So what you're getting here is you're getting a discount on the diamond one, and then you're getting the other one free of charge on here as well. Uh, so when it comes to the, um, yeah, you get a discount on the diamond one, and you get the other one free of charge, which is absolutely awesome. Make sure you grab those. Uh, yes, yeah, so you get a 40% off the first one, and then the other one is a penny, which is excellent. Now, this is my producer Georgina's pick of the show, this one here. Uh, and within this one, these are your multimedia dies. So you're getting the fabric strip for half price, which is excellent. And the orange peel is a penny, £17.50 or £21.98, down from £60 or $76. You will need to be fast for that one if you want to get your hands on it. Right, come have a little chat at the natter with me. I want to know what you're up to on a Sunday morning. What's going on in your sewing room or your uh, craft room this morning? Do let me know. Uh, come and chat with me. Crafters TV over on Facebook. Crafters Companion, if you are across on YouTube. We can have a little natter. We like a little natter on a Sunday, Bernie, don't we? We do well. We have a, we love a natter any time, to be honest. Absolutely, we, we do. We'll talk. Well, I know my mum said when I was little, I didn't have a dummy. The reason I didn't have a dummy is because I never kept my mouth shut long right, enough. Right, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, 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 Sains, Bernie, Sains is what I'd say. Uh, I want to also share with you what we're going to have a look at first. It is your reversible bag collection. Uh, in here, you're going to get three different styles of bag the vintage clutch at the top here, this one, you're are getting for just a penny which is excellent and you're getting 20 percent off of the other two now they're really versatile these 47.99 or 63.93 if you want to get your hands on these lots of bags on the show today bernie don't we uh, and i guess bags are perfect when you've got beautiful fabrics like we have oh amazing everyone loves bags they've got i mean I don't know how many I have and I keep making them and I have bags to put bags in and <laughs> I just love them. But these are great, especially because they're reversible ones. So I'm actually going to show you how this works. So this one is the Savvy Shopper. Nice. And then basically it is just what it says on the tin, reversible. So the instructions give you all of those um, all of the instructions obviously <laughs> <laughs> on how to do it so you can do so you've got the other side so that's the savvy shopper one and then this one is the pocket the pocket one i love this one because you've got this massive big pocket on the outside but you can customize it you can put one on both sides you can put them on the inside as well so you know if you want somewhere inside to put your phone and everything and your keys so you can put them on the inside but obviously when when you reverse it they're going to be the, on the outside as well. But the one I'm going to do today is the vintage clutch, which actually is the one 
This is the one that's the penny, Joe, isn't it? It is. This that's part penny. here. What can you get for a penny, Bernie? So, well, nothing Not nowadays. Much. Don't even, you can't get a penny chew, can you now? They're too yeah, good, apparently. When I was little, I don't, I don't know if you remember, Joe, did you have half pences when you were little? I did. No. Did um, you not? No. I'm only, th I'm 35 next month, uh -huh, I'm a little bit. A little, a little bit, bit older than that. Smidge. But I yeah, let us know if you in the UK and you remember the half pennies. So you used to get a 10 pence mix up, but you'd get 20 sweets in there because right. they're all half P. I mean, you'd probably pay 20 pence for one sweet now, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> but these are great. I love this one, the vintage crush. And again, it depends. Now, you don't have to make it reversible. So with this one, it's got a button and a buttonhole. So you can put a button on the other side, look like this one. And then when you turn it through, it is going to be reversible. But the one I'm making today, I'm going to use a magnetic clasp. So it, it, it isn't a reversible one, so it doesn't have to be. So again, you can mix and match with it as well. So what you get in the, packaging for, in the packet for all of these is you're going to get all of your dies, which I've got out here, and all of your instructions as well. And it's telling you how to cut them. Get it the right way. And as always, how we like to do it, we tell you how many pieces you need, and then we give you the visual. So you're getting the diagram explaining in word form as well. So I'm a very, very visual learner. So you're getting all of those details in there and how to put them together. There we go. And then also there is um, videos as well online for these as well. So you get the links on here for where to go to go and watch the videos. Excellent. Okay. Great that we've got those videos available. I love it. I love, uh, I'm actually in on Thursday filming some more videos for, oh, some more new oh, products. Oh, top secret stuff, is it, Bernie? Yeah, new products. Nice. A launch next month and then launch in October. So you won't have to wait too long. So yes, yeah, so I'm excited. I love coming in filming for the new products. Well, I just love coming in anyway. So, <laughs> so when you first look at these, you're going to look and go, hmm, they look a little bit strange. And if you haven't seen our bag dies before, basically a lot of them will have where you're cutting on the fold. So what that means is you're getting a bigger, a bigger finished item. If we put the whole die on, obviously we're going onto a um, A4 plate. Obviously we've got the Pro now, but when you've got an A4 plate, you, you can't make it too big. So we thought, well, if you cut them on the fold, it's actually going to work better. Now, I'm going to use the Mary Rose, because I just love that one. But Lovely also, cream tone, that, gorgeous, isn't it? isn't it? Look how well, Joe, it goes with that red suede. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. So let me cut a couple of pieces out. I've got quite a bit pre-cut, obviously, because I know we don't have um, a lot of time to stitch everything Get everything stitched together but i'm also using our um fabric plates so nice. if anyone has got the fabric plates they are on yet, the show available as well we've still got them in two sides as well so we've got the a4 size and then we've got the junior size as well you do get the two plates in the packaging so when you order one it will have two plates the a and Excellent. the b okay so you only need two clear cutting plates to work with these so i've got my a plate I've got my fabric on. Now, I'm going to show, which one shall I cut? Shall I cut the flap? So this is the bag flap. And then I've got the fold here. So I'm actually going to, I've got this folded twice, but what you want to do is your opening part of your die goes over the fold of your fabric, like that. And what I would say is whenever you're doing these ones, I would highly recommend sticking them down because you don't really want to move them to move and waste that gorgeous well any fabric but especially this liberty fabric because it's just lovely i don't throw any of this away joe i keep every little every scrap. single tiny little scrap every I little scrap and then also i've got the suede so i'm folding the suede over it doesn't matter if you fold it that way or that way so you just pop it on the fold I'll just get that fit on there. There we go. And I'll cut one of the top parts of the bag. So the bag's actually in two sections. So you can do it two-tone, which I really love. And that's what I've done on this one. So again, I'll do this. Now, the one thing I would say is when you're sticking, especially when you're sticking on suede, try not to get your tape on the suede. Okay. So it's going to go onto the die, onto the waist and then onto the plate. Okay. There we go. And that'll keep that in place like that. And then we've got the B plate on top of there and another clear cutting plate. So that's all you need. So you can use these dies with the plates that come with your Gemini, but 
because if you've got your fabric plates, then use your fabric plates. And you'll always hear that crackling noise, so you know that that's the dye working and cutting through. Um, um, it's like metal to metal, so it's a bit like a pair of scissors. Just need to say, if you are shopping for the Gemini Junior Fabric Cutting Plates, there's less than 50 of them now to go around. And Ooh. in fact, I've just heard they're limited stock. Uh, 14.99, 17.99. Bernie, how long did we wait for these to come back in stock? It felt like a life. Oh, it was didn't forever, it? wasn't it? And we will restock them again. But you know, if you missed out last time, it took quite a while. Uh, so if you want them, I would definitely grab them today, and not wait any longer. Yeah, it did take forever because obviously we had to reorder them. They had to be made, and then I'm sure they must have got stuck in the sewage canal when. <laughs> When that ship in the in the sewage the canal, the sewage canal. That's you what mean I call the it. Sewage yeah, canal. That's what I call in it. The sewage, sewage canal. canal. <laughs> it got caught in the sewage canal. The, sewage, I don't know how much sewage, sewage there is in the sewage canal. So, but yeah. I mean, I can't imagine there's much. And then you see that it's got now. If this happens where the end, all that means is you just haven't got it quite lined up. I'll get rid of that tape. You haven't got it quite lined up to the end where the fold is, but obviously it's, the dies all cut out. You're just going to snip that with your scissors. Now, I need to grab my scissors, Joe. Have you seen where I've got my scissors? Do, 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 oh, do, hello. Do, 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 do. In the tool tidy. Look at this. I absolutely love our tool tidy and the offer that we've got on today. This is one of my... This is why I was so... Um, confused over my pick of the show right okay because you're getting two of these you do get one for a penny one for a penny absolutely amazing look at the price that the price seven pound twenty it's that good joe julia who's backstage she's never bought anything soft crafts in her life after I showed her these and showed her what you could put in them, she went and ordered them. Yeah, absolutely. She went and ordered them. You she said, I can't believe you've got me 7 ordering. 7.20, irrelevant of where you were shopping from, to I get hold of two of them. I might just empty all that later and show you what's... Excellent, uh, what can't wait. Right, so, once you've got your pictures, uh, your, your pictures, your pieces cut out, you're going to start assembling them together. So, with your bag flap, You've got this lovely shape on here. And then what I've done, I cut one out in the suede as well. And then I've put right sides together, stitched them together. And then I've popped a little um, magnetic fastener already awesome. on there. Okay. So that's my bag flap ready. So we've got that ready. Let me just get myself a bit of room, Joe. I'm starting to make a mess and I haven't been on five minutes yet. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. So what you're going to do then is, this is where, you know what I was saying about having your two torn. So you've got your, I've cut the base out of the suede and the top out of the Mary Rose fabric. And I've got two of those. So I'm thinking, should they be me inside or me outside? I'm going to have that as the outside because I want my suede to be on the outside. And all you do is pop this on top there and sew across the top. And then top, I always like to top stitch just to give it a little bit of detail. And then... I want to say, right, well, normally you would put them right sides together and you would sew all the way around here. However, Joe, I've got a top tip. Top tip. Because this is my outside, once you've done that, then we'll say pop your um, back flap on. However, if you struggle to get this in place, put it on before you sew your pieces together. Okay. It's great. So I'm going to position out that you could use your mat just to get it lined up or you can do it by eye I'm just doing it by eye there and then if you get your quilting clips so everyone's got plenty uh, of these but if you haven't they are on the show aren't they they are on the show oh as well Joe so what I did and I need to check my phone later um, I was giving away the quilting pouch the little pouch I made yeah. the other week on the show and I was doing it as a giveaway on my page and I need to pick a winner. Oh, so awesome. So I will do that throughout the show when I get uh, a couple of minutes in between demos and I'll, uh, so we can announce the winner of who's won it. So all I'm going to do is just stitch along there and I'm just going to use a base stitch. So what a base stitch is, it's a, put your longest stitch on your machine and what you want to do is sew quite close to the edge of the fabric. So if you think about it, when you sew this together, you, you're going to use sort of round about a quarter inch seam. So when you're stitching, you don't want that to show. Okay. So you stitch quite close to the end. 
maybe about an eighth of an inch or so and just stitch it on and all you're doing is basting it it's also can be referred to as tacking so you're tacking it in place you just just get it on there what that does it just makes the next stage easier when you're sewing it together there we go so i've got that there so that's now my bag flap done and then now I'm going to sew these two bits together and you're going to do exactly the same with your lining piece but when you do your lining piece you're going to leave a gap in the bottom for turning but this is my outside so I'm just going to again use my clips you can pin but if you're going to pin with suede what I would say is pin in the seam because you don't want it to mark the same as um, for leather uh, Jane's asking mark. how you secure the magnet to the fabric. The ah, so you, it has two little legs on it. So if you've got any of our fasteners, I don't know if we've got any still left on the website of our fasteners, but it has two little prongs on, and I've got the one to put on the lining. So I'll, if we get chance, I'll show you how um, how we do that. And then what you want to do is line up your points. I've got there a little bit wobbly there, but it'll be absolutely fine. I make myself a little bit of room. See, I've got my scraps of liberty here. I don't want to chuck them away, so I'm leaving them there in front of my machine so I don't lose them. There's different sizes of those fastenings we available got, oh, over brilliant. on the website. Yeah. Um, lots of people saying hello. Deborah saying hi in Bakersfield, California. Ooh, uh, Deborah's up early today. Sherry's in Illinois. Christine is in Scotland. Uh, it says the fabrics are beautiful. They really are. Yeah. Uh, Pam saying hi. Watching from Bracknell, Berkshire. Looks a bit windy out there at my window. It's a bit miserable up here in the north uh, east. I won't lie to you. Uh, Deborah says lovely fabrics. Uh, Christine's been using the suede fabrics. It's lovely. Uh, she also says as well, ah, oh, the good old days with old money. <laughs> uh, and Pam says, Bernie, in my day, we had farthings too. I love the farthings. They had a robin on, robin on so it reminded me of my birthday at Christmas. How lovely. Oh. It sounds very complicated, old money. <laughs> well, I, I, I didn't have farthings. I can remember we had the half pence. Um, but, yeah, it used to be just great when you went in the sweet shop and you got, like, loads because stuff was... Stuff cost half a pence. It was amazing. And I, w um, I remember when um, pound coins came out as pound well. Pound coins? <laughs> yeah, we used to have pound notes. Did we not? What did we have? Did we have pound notes before that then? Yeah, we had pound notes. Yeah. Oh. So I am, I'm really old. I'm really old. <laughs> Bernie's obviously a lot younger than she looks, is all I can think. No, there we she, go. But Bernie is a lot older than she looks. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. She yeah. looks a lot younger than she is. Gosh, I really want to put them out there. You guys we'll know, what I, we'll you know what I meant. I knew what you meant, Joe. And then I've done the same again, but with this one, I put the suede on the top and the Mary Rose fabric on the bottom. So you get that two-tone. You can do the same fabric if you want. It's absolutely fine. Um, it doesn't make... Um, you know, it'll just make a different looking bag. And then what you want to do is clip into these. Now, I'm going to... Let me just get my scissors out of my tool tidy you can either clip into the curves or cut them quite close and what that means is when it turns through it's it lies better it was international Just lefties day earlier in the week you know it Bernie. was and we yeah. both lefties aren't we joe we are indeed yeah yeah i love being a lefty i do and that's why i love our scissors because they're not left or right both ways don't they yeah that's they what becky was saying becky's a lefty as well is she, she mm. is, yes. Oh, there's loads of us, isn't there? Loads of lefties, yeah. Loads of us. So I'm just turning this outside piece through. There we go. And at this point, this is where normally you would put the, attach the flap on. But because we've put that on already, it, we don't have to think about that now. And then you're going to put that inside of your lining. So effectively, you like right sides together. So it's one of them things, Joe. You know, when you start making bags and things like that, you start seeing the same methods. Yeah. So you'll always, it, normally, you'll see where you'll put right sides together. And this is where the clips again come in. So you just want to match up your side seams. Now, if at this point you were putting a, a handle on it or a strap, this is where you would put your straps in where the um, side seams are. But I'm doing a clutch, so I'm not going to have um, a strap. And you're just going to 
get it all inside don't worry about what's happening down here so you can see I'm like really pushing that in there and you think oh well that's not looking like it's fitting it does it's just all you need to worry about well not worry but think about is the part that you're going to be stitching that's especially when you're quilting as well amazing okay so what you're going to do is sew all the way around the top here and then turn it through that gap on the bottom so I'm going to clip this and then I'm going to quickly fly around Joe with me machine you know me when I go super fast take off my um, table off my machine so I've turned it into a free arm awesome and then you're just going to go around now you can go a quarter of an inch if you want go a little bit more if you find that you think you're not going to catch everything in right so again the back police are not going to be out so I'm going to whiz all the way around here and once you've stitched all the way around here uh, the only thing you need to do is stitch the little gap up in the lining and put the fastener on um, I'll do that in between demos as well so but what I'll do who, which, who was the lady that was wanting to see Jen. The, the fastener Jen. Jen so what I might do is do a little um, what you call it just a little face spooky thing showing you how to put them on let me just get that lined up and this is where if you've got a needle down facility on your machine it comes in really handy because at this point if you think you've got yourself a little bit um, out of alignment your project's not going to go anywhere perfect so let's get around here I love this and you can see how easy this um, suede sews through I've not had to change my needle which is great you don't need to change your needle for the suede um, it stitches up well the four suede I should say it stitches up beautifully and I know the blue one sold out in it in, in no time didn't it mm. Yeah, you need to be really? quick for that. It's on, two, it's on a two for £17 today. So, a uh, great multi buy on that, and loads of great deals, of course, across uh, everything oh. in this show. So, is that us all the way around there, then, Bernie? So, I'm all the way around there. Yep. Yeah. So, I'm going to take that out and turn it through. And it just shows how quick these bags are to put together because you haven't got to worry about having those, um, cutting those shapes out, making sure they're all the same size um, and the curves match and everything. That's the great thing about our dies is that they do all that for you. We've done all that hard work. And then if I pop that in there, oh, this is looking smart. Obviously you'd give it a nice press. Oh, but if I get that in there like that and then at least you can see the finished oh I've got a cotton there oh I have to cut that cotton there we go excellent love it there we go turn it round so you can see it and there we've got our finished bag excellent and then you just put your other side of your fastener on there and that's for a penny how gorgeous <laughs> is that let me take you through the other bags then that you're getting in here as well uh, so this one just here remember they are all reversible which is excellent i think this one's great because you get a little bit of the fabric uh, coming through and then of course pop that inside out and you've got another fantastic bag how gorgeous is that so you're gonna get this one included you're getting this one just here as well uh which is fantastic oh there's a there's a note in there I think it's a love letter uh <laughs> you can then pop this one inside out i will i won't lead it now don't worry i don't think it's for me anyway they never are uh <laughs> and then this one as you can see uh reverses again and the one uh that bernie has just made for us there uh, and again that one will reverse too i think they're excellent a brilliant price on these you should be looking at 85 pounds or what 120 dollars almost today though uh 47 pounds uh, 99 63.93 platinum members are under 40 pounds just over 50 dollars right uh i want to share with you the fabric strips and orange peel now the fabric strips on their own should be £34.99 or if you're in the US they should be £43.95 however you're getting uh you of course here we go uh, so you're actually going to pay £17.50 for those so you're getting a discount on the actual um dies themselves these ones half price on these and then you're getting these for a penny 
uh, which is awesome. They should be £25 or just under $33. So excellent value uh, to get all of those, which is amazing. £17.50, £21.98, £14 or £17.58 for Platinum members. Uh, we've also got a great deal as well on the jewels. Now, if you went for the jewels on their own, uh, they would be uh, $39.99 or $39.95. So you're getting well, it's a 40% saving there. And then the hexagon uh, should be the same price, is a penny or a cent today. Way better than buy one, get one free. It's around about 70% saving all in all, I think. Uh, you're saving 60 pounds or 55.92, which is excellent. So make sure you grab those. The tall tidy as well. Now, one tall tidy on their own, 8.99. Actually, they should be. You're actually getting a discount on the tall tidy as well, aren't you? They should be nine ninety nine individually. Uh, so we're taking uh, ten percent off the price of the tall tidy, and then giving you another one for a penny as well. Uh, you can fit absolutely loads in here. I'll get Bernie to take us through these again in more detail as we go through the show. But they are fabulous, fabulous value. Those right there. Do not miss out on them. Remember though, uh, the in for a penny, in for a pound, uh, of course, ends on. Oh, well, today. Ends today. It's your last day to get your hands on them wherever you are. So let me take you through the bags that you've got in here. So you've got the bowling bag, which is this one just here. Um, I, mean, I think it's quite stylish, don't you? I think it's quite snazzy. Um, I'm doing my best. Yeah, it's like, a, oh, I'm dizzy. Doing a Zoolander, only go left. Uh, you can see, so it's really awesome. What I love about this bag is that the opening is massive. Nothing worse than when you've got a really tall bag, everything's in there, you're trying to funnel into there. You'll put something more exciting in yours, I'm sure. We've got a bit of bubble wrap in ours. You know, uh, keep them looking nice and plump. So you've got your bowling bag. You've also got your carpet bag as well. Now, it's not because you put carpet in it. Is it because they tr were traditionally made out of old carpets back in the day, Bernie? I think that's where it is, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, really nice, really padded. Uh, it's got really nice boxed off square bottom as well, which is excellent, so it helps it stand up. It's just really great. I love the fact you've got the double strap as well. It's got the shoulder strap, or you've got the handle there as well. Really fantastic. Two fastenings on there as well. Really, really brilliant bag. It's a bit of a sort of, it's almost a bit like the sort of bag your doctor would have, isn't it? You know, like a big massive one You're gonna get loads in there uh, and then you've also got the uh, crossover we call in this one uh, so you've got the crossover in there as well uh, again you can see uh, really nice all oh, look like it'd be a little lovely yarn bag a little yarn bag as well so do grab that one there as well right I want to give you a reminder on the fabric it's really busy right should we I want to give you a heads up on a few of them. They're all available to you over on the website. Mary Rose, 80% now sold out and gone, so you will need to be quick if you want the Mary Rose. Uh, the Emily Silhouette, really busy. 60% of the Emily Silhouette has gone. Uh, remember, 8.49, 12.49, uh, you can get multiples of half meters, we'll cut them on the meter for you. The Field Rose is really busy. 70% of the Field Rose has sold out and gone. Uh, right, Bernie, uh, we're gonna look now at these large bags. We've had these on a couple of times before, they've always been very, very busy, but today the value is just really off the chart, isn't it? Because you say 40% on two of the bags and then you get the third bag for a penny, what an amazing deal. It's amazing. It is amazing. And again, and I didn't realise this, Joe, I've actually picked the one to demo is the one that you get for a penny. Nice. Yeah. When um, producer Georgina told us before the show, she said, they're both the penny ones. I was like, eee. I was like, I must have known. So like for, for a penny, it's just amazing. And again, I just want to show you these dies. So you can see again, the, the, where you're cutting on the fold. So you've got those, that same principle that runs through. I mean, if you, you, if you looked at those dies on a shelf, which is, this is what's great about the shows, Joe, isn't it? If you looked at that product on a web page or just on the shelf in a shop, you'd look and you think, yeah, it's gonna make a bag. But then to actually see that this is, I've got the one here that's on the packaging, that's how big your bag's gonna be. Awesome. It, it really, really is good. Um, and I say, that's why I love it where we can show you how how you're actually going to do it so yeah so the crossover one so this i've got one in a different fabric here um showing the crossover one and it actually has it so you've got the zip part on the top but it also has um a gusset all the way around the outside but you can make it without the gusset 
and that's Amazing. what I'm going to show you today as well. Now this one here has got no gusset, no zip. It's just bare, really. <laughs> but it has a magnetic fastener and some more bubble wrap just to um, fill it up a little bit there. There's no, I haven't got no love letters in mine, Joe. Have you not? No. Do you want mine? I think you must have got my bag. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, so it just shows you how you can do different, um, different styles on there. So I'm going to do this one, but I'm going to put a zip in it as well because Excellent. I love our zips. We've got our zips it's on the road. It's from Zoe Ballard, my, uh, my love letter. I don't know if you Is know it? Zoe. I know. Yes, Zoe very well. It Zoe says, doesn't live far from here. Do you want me to read it to you? Yes, go on It then. says, Joe, I've always loved watching you on Crafters TV and I do hope this note finds you well. No, it doesn't. It just says reversible shopping tote die. The reverse match better than the main view. So I put the reverse in. <laughs> That's all the note says. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, I really felt like I could run with it then and really make something <laughs> quite elaborate up. But I don't know. Maybe Zoe's got a husband. He might come and beat me up. So I've decided to just leave it there. <laughs> well, I can tell you, Josh, she hasn't got a husband. Oh, there we go. At the minute, so uh, <laughs> if you're watching Zoe, <laughs> if she's not, I'll message her after and tell her she needs to watch the show, but I won't <laughs> tell her why. <laughs> so I am going to use this one, which is the Hamster Meadow Blue. Oh, I love this. These fabrics are stunning. This one to me was... It was very retro it was very, very retro because liberty is really renowned for their um, floral prints but this one just goes that you know that extra part as well it's a bit so you've 70s, got the isn't it? yeah we seem to see loads of 70s coming back into fashion again at the moment it reminds me of similar to some curtains that we used to have in the kitchen when we were little really <laughs> in a bigger print yeah it's these big yellow flowers they were like an orangey yellow flowers i can remember them i'll have to show my mom because she'll remember them um, i think it's because it's got a bit of a brown tone to it as well that it looks quite 70s it has and that's the thing like we've put that threaders bundle together to go with these fabrics to bring out the colors but once you put another color with it it brings out one of the other colors doesn't it, it so does you really really can mix and match a lot of colors now you can see i can show you here how i've actually cut out um the main die of here so you can see here that i had it on the fold and there's the curvature perfect so you're going to do the same again of um, cutting out your pieces on the fold pop that little bit of tape on always best to pop that little bit of tape on and then I've done I've jumped a couple of steps ahead because I wanted to get as many things finished as I could so I could I've used the mustard to so seeing how those colors go together I mean look absolutely nice. stunning so i've got the mustard here and i've cut two of the outside pieces out and then i've cut two of the um lining in the liberty and then what i've also done is used our zips on a roll and that's why i want to do it because i love our zips on a roll and i always cut mine extra long for whatever i'm doing so when i'm sewing this little zipper pull isn't in the way when i'm stitching but what you need to always remember to do and believe me, I have forgot. Um, before you start sewing anything together, you need to open your zip. Okay. Because what happens it, otherwise? So, well, if you leave it here and then you sew it together and trim it, you've trimmed your zip pull off, so you're going to have to unpick. Okay. But also, if you don't open your zip, once you start to turn it through the gap, you're not going to have a gap to turn it through. Okay, doke. That's <laughs> going to be You tell I've, I've done that from experience, Joe, can't you? And then what all I've done on this one, because you're stitching it into a curve, don't be, don't let that worry you. Just take it canny, gang canny, gang as I canny, always say, yeah. gang canny. Stitch along one side, put the other side, and then can you see how I've just clipped in? And I've just used um, our scissors because our scissors are great because they cut right to the tip. I've just gone along and I've just. Um, snipped all of that so it lies better and then I'm going to put my two um, suede sides together and my two linings but can you see how we've got a bit of a, something going on here so what that is is because obviously it's on a curve so what I would say is deal with one side don't worry about what's happening there then deal with the other side and don't worry about what's happening here okay, but remember okay. to leave your gap in the bottom of the lining so i'm just going to clip around this thread again i'm using the clips and if it goes can you see here where mine's just gone off just just a little bit a few millimeters there please don't worry um because you'll know when you're stitching that you've 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 got it even 
so please don't worry if it goes off a little bit because this uh, in patchwork i know i'll always say oh you need to make sure you've got your quarter inch etc but when you're doing um other makes such like such as this you don't need to worry too much about your your seam allowance thank you doug i think sometimes people get a little bit a little bit scared there we go so i'm going to stitch from where my stitching stopped here all the way down down and along okay oh no i'm not because well i am in a second i made a little handle as well Cute. i thought making a little strap handle so in the dies in the die pack you actually get these strips where you again the open ended so you can fold them over and what i did was did i do three yeah i did three folds so you can see there i've done three folds and then i've done it folded them in together and then folded them in again give it a press and then i've just top stitched down both sides so i just need to pop my little handle in here oh so it's like a little like a little like a wrist strap yeah nice yeah like so it's going so it's going to be like a wristlet and you want to put it in the side where your zip pull ends when it's finished right so you don't want everything tipping out so you want it in that side so i'm just going to open that up and just shove that technical term technical term just shove just that in there shove that in there like that there we go and we'll have it and i like to leave a little bit overhanging and then you know you're going to catch it in there what here i'd have been i'd have been uh, handleless there wouldn't i if i'd forgotten right so let me just carefully go around here and Set my Loads of you chatting away as well. Sherry says, I don't sew, but these bags really make me want to start. They are so beautiful. Uh, Laura May says, I love bag making. It's my absolute favourite. Diane loving that last bag as well, as was Pat. Uh, you can use one side one time and another one the other time. Absolutely. Uh, Lynn says, hi, Joe, Bernie and the CTV team and social superstars and everyone else. Sorry, I'm like, my tablet was doing an update. So watching the big TV, uh, I couldn't get onto Facebook to comment. Well, I'm glad you were here, Lynn. I was worried about you, I'll be honest. Uh, Diana says, I need to get... Uh, these out and make some bags absolutely you can't make anything if they sit in the drawer as uh, susan saying hello from gurney illinois as well north oh. of chicago the first time i've watched you both i uh, love the bags that you're making Bernie. well oh, welcome a, sure i love i love it. i mean i love i've always recognized a lot of the names is that lynn harvey you were talking about lynn there? harvey yeah the lovely yeah, lynn in essex recognize but having um, new viewers as well is great because i just love sharing that that's my my main love of doing these shows is that I'm sharing everything. All the goodies that we have, all hints and tips. Um, I just love it. I just love sharing them with everyone because I think that's how I learned mm. a lot of learning from um, watching other people and, and my mum. Obviously, my mum taught me my mum taught me a lot. So when I've got to the strap here, Joe, I'm just going to do a reverse and then back over. And that just gives it a little bit of extra strength for when, you, obviously, that's the, the most part of the bag that's going to get the most sort of wear. And then I'm going to stitch up to that little stitch line and then reverse. And then this is where I'm going to take it out now and concentrate on the other side, getting that lining lined up. I'm just checking that I've caught it all in. Yeah, I always have cotton ends everywhere, you know. <laughs> right, and then now I'm going to concentrate on this side. So the first thing I'm going to do is line up my corners. And this time I'm going to use my pins because I'm back onto my cotton and I know that because this is a heavier weight fabric, what can happen is it can move your other fabric. So like here so i want to keep it really really close together so there is a time for pins and there is a time for clips right and this is a time for pins and this is a time for pins and i can use our magnetic pin cushion nice. so you know if you drop your pins jaw oh no oh no 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 there we go amazing <laughs> it's my little that's my little trick that's my little trick so yeah so there we go so i'm just going to pin this and remember to leave so why pins over clips here then bernie so with pins if you if you want to keep something totally totally that it's not going to move at all and you're only using thin layers of fabric because this is cotton 
rather than over suede. I don't want it to move at all. And sometimes with, with a clip, it will hold it, but it, you know, you want it to be even more accurate. Okay. So you can clip it, but just my personal preference is there. And then obviously you need to remember to leave your little gap in the bottom. I mean, this fabric is lovely inside out as well. You know, I've seen people do that. You know, if someone needs like a muted colour and they haven't quite got the colour they want, they'll use the reverse side of a fabric. Nice. Great yeah. idea. Not this fabric though. Don't do it with this fabric. No, not it's with too, this fabric. It's too beautiful. It's too nice, isn't it's it? It's so soft, isn't it? This it's Liberty gorgeous. Fabric. And it's cool. Um, it is cool to the touch and that is a, that's a good sign of a, a quality cotton if it feels cool to the touch. So what I did there was I just did a little reverse at, at where I'm going to have the turning gap. So when you're turning it through, it doesn't come apart. And again, I'm not worrying too much about me quarter inch seam. I'm there or thereabouts. It's more that you enjoy it, isn't it, Joe? Absolutely. That's the thing, isn't it? You, you want you to enjoy to, what you have, you're doing. You have to enjoy the journey, not just the destination. Exactly. Exactly. And then just be careful when you get up to that zip, just do a little reverse. There we go. So that's one side. And then what I'm going to do is, if you notice, I'm stitching from the gap here and up because there's a lot going on here so I want to be able to control what's happening there so if I start from the gap then I've got a better chance of controlling what's happening there just be aware obviously you've got your pins underneath to pull them out before you get to them and I'm just getting to the end now what you can do with the end you can either stitch off or you can um, pivot. So if I do a pivot, there we go. Pivot is all it is, is you're leaving your needle down, lifting the foot, so I've lifted this foot, pivot your work, and then carry on stitching. So that I know sometimes um, t a lot of people will read like technical, and there's, oh, that, there's a lot of technical terms in there, but actually, um, sometimes you don't need a technical term, um, but once you start seeing them, you'll start getting used to what they, what they mean. So again, I'm just coming down to here, so I'm just being careful, and I want to get to the end there. And you're going through a lot of thickness here because you've now hit the two zips, you've got the zip teeth, and also the zip teeth and nylon, so that you can stitch through them. But what I would say would is, it stitch, just would it go through the needle, through the teeth? It got, well, what it does, it 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 moves it because so, so it's it a just coil. Them out of the way. Yeah. Once I cut this off, I'll show you, Joe, actually, and then I'm just going to trim off that close to there. So if I just open this one up, and I'm going to test George's zooming skills uh, here. Here he comes. Is he coming? So. If I just undo this, and I'll pull off all the thread, so we can see there, that little spoke there, that's the piece of nylon. That little right. piece on the right is cotton, Yeah. and that is the nylon, and it's a coil. Okay. And it coils all the way around, so what happens is when your needle goes in, it just, it'll move the coil either side. And just goes just goes between and goes it. through but I wouldn't go sort of full pelt on your machine um, but yeah so that's where it is never ever saw the metal zips because okay. you can cause lots of problems on your machine awesome lots lots of problems there we go so I'm going to cut the other side hope I've got that lined up on there and then you're going to come through the bring it all through the gap so if you sew a metal zip in then, or do you sew either side of it, Bernie? So what I do is I sew up to it and I like hand crank my machine, I like turn the hand wheel. Yeah. Um, because you don't, oh I haven't clipped, um, clipped my corners, because you don't want the needle to hit it. And if you're doing it with your foot, controlling it with your foot, you could go, oh, another one and yeah. hit the zip. So if you do it by hand cranking, 
you'll find that you'll get really close to it and then you'd reverse and then do it from the other side um, it may be that you need to do a little bit of hand stitching just like just a little whip stitch over the end oh I've left a pin in there I thought oh. it wasn't coming through very well um, but yeah so it's it's just to, just to be sort of careful because you'd, it'll break your needle potentially, but it could also cause damage to your machine. Okay. Which can be quite expensive. We don't want that, do we? We don't want that, no. So we're just opening this out. And I need my little porky tool. Shall I do my favourite porky tool, Joe? Me, What's it uh, called? We, had a, we, had a, we found out Was it name. a dauber? No, it's got a funny name, isn't it? A dabber. It was something like that, wasn't it? Someone did message in. It was a seed insert, wasn't it? Yes. Because it's for your it garden. Was. It was. It has little measurements on. But it's got a special seeds. name. Someone will let us know. We need to write it down, really, Bernie, because we, we have do. this conversation I every time it, you use it. I do. I think it was it not a dauber or something like that. Actually, no, these are daubers, aren't they? Where yeah, something with They're seed. They're daubers, aren't they? Yeah, it was something with <laughs> seed in the name. <laughs> now, with the suede, what you want to do is just gently poke the corners. Try not to use your scissors. So what you're going to do is just ease it through. Uh, could you po push through if you went too hard at this point? Yeah, because you could push, push, push through your stitches. So you just want to ease it, ease it gently. And that's why we don't use scissors. Tell you what you could use, Joe, what you uh, will have at home. Crochet hook. Nice, yep. As well. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a dibber. A dibber? It's a, it's a dibber for your seeds, yeah. There we go. So you'd sew the hole up in the bottom. You'd get all your points turned out nice. See if we can turn that one out. It will turn out nice a little bit better. And then... Give it a press, always give it a press, so it doesn't catch in. And we we'll zip it up, and we have Amazing. our own little clutch. Look at me, Joe. Two bags finished. Two well, bags I need the little in one on show. There. How Look incredible that. Uh, is that? <laughs> so, uh, remember what you're getting in here included. You are going to get three different bag styles within there. It's the crossover that you're getting uh, free of charge. You're also going to get the bowling bag down here and also the carpet bag. I'll show you those. So this is the one uh, you're paying a penny for, which is this one just here. You're also going to get the carpet bag, which is a lovely big bag in there. And you're then going to get that awesome bowling bag within there too. So you've got all three styles there. And the really great thing is that the dies just make it so much easier for you to... I'm going to move those, George. Uh, the dies make it so much easier for you to be able to get all of those lovely, precise cuts. Right, I'm going to take you back through the fabrics it's really really busy now on some of these uh, remember as well if you're not familiar with liberty liberty is a uh, it's a store in london which opened 1875 and they've been producing fabrics for not long from not long after that liberty prints like now world renowned uh, and it is all hand designed in london uh, and they have their own factory uh, in like como in italy where they produce all of this incredible cotton it is so so buttery soft and delicious is what i would say uh, and really some of the best fabrics we're renowned as some of the best fabrics out there let me take you back through the options you've got then so you've got the hampstead meadow green which is this one just here uh, all of these are 849 or 1249 40% of that one has sold out and gone this is your forget me not blossom just here half the stock of this one has gone this is your Arley Garden. 20% of this one has gone. This is your Mary Rose. 80% gone now. If it's in your basket, you need to check that out. We don't have as many, many of that to go around. In fact, there's only a few left to allocate there. This one here is the Emily Silhouette. 60% of your Emily Silhouette has gone. Uh, this one here is your Cosmo Flower. I love this one. 20% of this one has sold out and gone. This is your Hampstead Meadow Blue, half gone here. Really, really gorgeous uh, design on that one. This is your Wildflower Field. How classy is that? I know you guys love this one. 70% it's gone. It's got almost a little bit of an Asian influence uh, on it, sort of Far Eastern influence, I should say, on that beautiful colour there. You've then got the Field Rose, which is this one just here. 70% gone now on this one. 
This is a Chelsea flower. Almost got uh, a bit of, a bit like sort of um, Japanese pottery kind of feel to it, isn't it? Twenty percent of that one has gone. This one is also beautiful. Beautiful. This is your uh, Mamie. Twenty percent of the Mamie has gone. This is your Morven Meadow. A quarter of that one has gone. That's your Kensington Garden. Half gone. Isn't that like the most poshest country kitchen is what that reminds me of. Something very, very regal about it. This one here is the Forget Me Not Blossom. 20% of this one has gone. And this is your Suffolk Fields. Half of that has gone. Very busy there on those fabrics. Lots of them. Uh, lots of you with them in your baskets at the moment. Uh, make sure you check out on those. Remember as well, if you are buying multiples of the half metre pieces, just to give you an idea actually how big the half metre piece is while we're here, just to show you. So, let me open this. Oh gosh, it's so soft, Bernie. The ends where it's cut are like, they're like literally like puppy dog's ears. Uh, this is a half metre piece, so that's what you're getting. Look at how gorgeous that is. I could, it's almost like a, you could look at it all there, nearly. Could make, a, could make me a pair, make a nice pair of, um, make a nice pair of, imagine jamas made out of these. Oh, yes. Wouldn't they be beautiful? Uh, so that's what half metre is like. If you're ordering multiples, uh, then what we'll do is we'll cut it for you by the metre. So if you ordered four of them, you would get a two metre piece, which is amazing. And then you've got lots of different options then, uh, of course, when it comes to what you want to do with them. Let me also share with you uh, the... We're going to the plain fabrics down here. Ooh. Honestly, it's like a little haberdashery back here, <laughs> Bernie. <laughs> There's lots on the shore today, it isn't is, there? It is, is indeed. <laughs> um, right, the planes, now this planes, these are our threaders planes, and these, this bundle's been put together because what it does is it gives you the perfect colourways to go with uh, the Liberty fabric. So these colours are going to complement exactly what you've got there in the Liberty prints that I've just shown you. 1348 or 1688 if you want to get your hands on those. Right. The shape creator, ooh, this one just here. Now this is an absolute staple when it comes to our Soft Side Live shows. It is limited stock, so if you uh, want to go for this, definitely uh, act sooner rather than later is what I would say. How come and how is this still such a popular product? So we've launched this, Bernie, haven't we? Every time we have it on, it's so busy all the time. Why is it such an essential in your sewing room? It's amazing, Joe. It was the first actual product that I launched um, with the company a couple of years ago um, it's just it gives you so much potential that you can cut your your strips with it your squares with it your bias strips your triangles your diamond your circles which are amazing and then into your hexagons as well I mean it, it, it's just amazing with what you can do with this one and we, we brought the big one out originally but then also we've got the junior one on the shore um, that is you know is, is a smaller version if you don't want the big one so it's either or they both do the same um, it's just your personal preference of which one you have I've got the big one out here today while we've still got a handful I think we've got a handful left um, but it's just it's just an amazing piece of kit and for what if you're just starting out what you're going to look for is a tool um, that's going to do a lot of things for you and this isn't like a one trick pony you're not going to have, um, oh, well, I need this for that, this for that, this for that. This will, cut, this will do so much for you. And the good thing as well is it's got all of the written instructions on for how to cut all of those items that I was just um, saying. But also you can then go on to cut um, sort of your elongated hexagons. You can cut your, your parallelograms, your trapeziums as well. You can do your dual, you know, but obviously we couldn't fit... <laughs> All of those, we'd have to have like an extension to get all of those mm. on as well. So you can cut a lot more. Um, now the thing I've been doing, Joe, what I'm wanting to use this with, I'm going to use some of our um, threaders plain fabric. So last week I started a new um, stitch, like st monthly stitch along, monthly project. Yeah, you did. And we had the alphabet dies on the shore and we made so. <laughs> out of them and what we're going to do is make a wall hanging and also as well we made I made up my own little block and I made up some bobbins as well see I've got the little bobbins I just think they're so cute so what we're going to do is I need to show you how to put the backing on of here so I've already put the backing on this one 
but I'm going to show you how to do it. And can you see how it looks like I've done binding on the top of there? It does, yeah. So it's like it's a four binding as well um, technique, which is really, really um, easy to do. So if I just pop that one aside for now, I know that my piece here is six and a half inches high because they're the, the alphabet blocks that I made. And then I measured the length of it and it's 19 and a half inches okay, okay. so what I need to do and I, I've got now this is how I work at home look I've got all my measurements all written down when I work things out what I'm going to do this is how I do it I have a little diagram and I have all my sections here so I need to cut a back in that's seven by 19 and a half when I fin this will be finished next week um, I'll then put all of the measurements on of what I've done so anyone that wants to stitch along they can watch the shows back and do it so what did I say seven by nineteen and a half so I want to do it half an inch higher than my piece so with the shape creator so the shape creator goes up to 16 but I need 19 and a half Okay. Not a problem, because what you can do is cut your fabric on the fold. So I've got a, a rough strip. So this is a piece that I had left over. The first thing I want to do is cut a strip that's seven inches. Okay. So I'm just going to fold my fabric over and pop it underneath. And what happens is, at the left-hand side here, or you can work from the right hand side if you go from that side the left hand side here you've got your zero line and there's a groove in here and what that groove does is that's going to allow you to put your blade of your rotary cutter in there so I'm going to line up on any of the horizontal lines just line up on there like that and in effect I'm tidying up the edge of my fabric so if you were doing this with a ruler you tidy up the edge then you'd have to move everything okay with this you don't have to move everything and you can see how I haven't even got it straight in front of me because I'm not using the mat to measure I'm just using the mat to be on here now I'm using I've got a 45 mil rotary cutter which I know we've got on a, a deal on the show with extra blades as yes well. we do you get the blades for for a penny or and a you cent, get which blades is awesome. you get blades with it and then there's extra as well which is absolutely great and you can just see how that goes all the way up there now I'm not going to move that I'm going to keep it in place what I am going to do is get my 60 mil rotary cutter okay so this is the 60 mil one this one has the, a locking mechanism and it has the squeeze function so because I've locked it there I'm trying to squeeze it that won't open so if, if it don't. gets into the wrong hands or you know what I mean if the bands are about you know they're not going to damage themselves keep that locked if you've got it in your bag as well keep it locked so if you put your hand in your bag to get something you go anywhere near that blade nothing's going to happen because it's all encased Fantastic. in there okay and then all I'm going to do is come along the bottom and find the seven so here's the seven and then I'm going to expose the blade and then again the blade just sits in that groove all the way up and then I've now got you can see there that here's my waist very minimal because I don't want to waste anything and this is my seven inch strip so the next thing I do is I need 19 and a half okay so what I'm going to do this goes up in half inch increments but you can cut thing it in quarters this dashed line here okay is a quarter of an inch but for ease and the way I did it in my head was I need 19 and a half inches so I'm going to cut 20 and then I'm going to cut half an inch off that's my that was my thinking of how I was going to do this so if I'm cutting 20 if I'm cutting something on the fold I'm cutting 10 so pop it under there so this time I don't want to trim the edge because that's my fold I want to line my fold up with my zero line okay and then the edge of the fabric which I know is straight because I've just cut that I'm just lining up on any again of the horizontal lines and then I'm going to go along to the 10 which is here cut up there we go so I've got that off so I know now this is um, 20 but I want 19 and a half so again I'm going to pop this back on line it up so I'm lining up there lining up there and I'm just going to cut that and I've cut off so now I've got 19 and a half inches fantastic so that and it just you know there's and that's just cutting a piece of fabric and cutting you um with your, your rectangles you know but like I say you've got all those other different shapes that you can cut and then what we need to do is pop 
this right sides together on the back now with the planes there isn't a technically there isn't a right and wrong side well actually technically there is but visually there isn't you can't see it um so I'm going to put this on. Now, when I put that on there, you can see, you say, well, Bernie, you said that was nice to have. It is. What it is is because I've got so many seams in here, I just need to pin or clip these to fit. And you'll have this extra at the bottom because this extra, once we turn it over, that's what's going to give you that four um, binding effect. So it's a really quick way of doing binding, actually. If you like the effect of having binding, but you don't like to have the um, extra job, if you like, the extra task of doing it, or if yours goes a little bit wibbly-wobbly or anything like that and you're not happy with it, um, then this is a good way to do it. So all I'm doing is just pinning this along here. Again, you could use your clips at this point. It's going to do the same job and stitch along and the reason why I'm pinning from the letter side is because what I want to do is make sure that I stitch through any diagonal points so I've got some diagonal points on my S I'll show you in a second let me just get that pinned in so we can see here where we had half square triangles right there let me draw it there's an intersection of stitching and there so when I stitch I want to try my best to aim to go through that stitch line just to get it all neat so this is where we're back on we're back on quarter inch seam now Joe so I've got my quarter inch uh, seam head on now and then I'm just going to stitch all the way along here and you do exactly the same with the bobbins piece I'm going to stitch all the way along uh, loads of you chatting away still. Debbie says the fabric is so gorgeous, uh, not one that I didn't want to own. Uh, Laura Hernandez says morning, I almost missed my favourite show sitting in a sitting at a car show first thing in the morning. Where's your car show, Laura? Let us know. Uh, and still a vintage car show. Maybe. Oh, let us know what sort of cars are they, Laura? Yeah. I wonder if Laura's in a vintage car. That'd be fancy, wouldn't it? Yes. One of one of my friends, her partner used to go. He used to have an old Fiesta. The old style Fiesta and Air Edge one, which I don't even know how old that'll be now. And he used to go to car shows with it. Um, and it was pristine. Was it? Yeah, it was pristine. Yeah, the bit of a it was a bit of a like I want to say like a cult car, wasn't it? Like the a old cult car, yeah. Yeah, like the old Fiestas. So yeah, that was snow. There we go. So I've sewn all the way along there. And you can see now where that's gone there. So now my S is showing perfectly on there. Okay. So we haven't got much more to do on this now. It's really good. I need to get me iron. So <clears throat> first bit of iron of the day. What I'm going to do is I want to iron this towards the backing piece of fabric. Okay. Let's get the iron. And when I'm ironing, I am actually ironing rather than pressing. So normally right. with patchwork, we'll say press like that. But I want that fabric. I want to be able to see my stitches, basically, when I'm just pushing it over. And what this is doing, it's, it's just, it's one of those little finishing things, you know, like, like a little professional touch. And it just gives all those little bit extra to your project. So there we go. So then when we've done that, we're then going to, Put it over to the back and I'll just smooth it by hand first but there can you see look you've now got that lovely four edge and then what I'm doing is I'm lining up my top piece to the piece behind and I do like to smooth it with my hands first and then if you need to give it a little wiggle 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 wiggle, wiggle. there we go and then you're going to press again to get the pocket now you're going to cut some more pieces which I've already got ready which are going to be so we've, because this is going to be like a, a wall storage like a wall hanging organizer and these are going to be our pockets okay so I'm going to lie these out and then next week do you want to know a secret Joe I'd love a secret please guess what's back in stock next week Oh, modern! Oh, the modern! Back next it's been week. ages. Yeah, we haven't had any for ages. But yeah, we've got modern next week, and we need modern 
Yeah, we need wadding next week. So what's going to happen is we're going to put on my backing piece. It's my front, but it's my backing. That sounds a bit right. wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> so the background, what, what we're going to do, okay, is we're going to lie that on the top of there. Right. And then we're going to get the other piece. And again, like I say, after next week, what I'll do is I'll give you all the measurements for all of these pieces. And with this one, we've done exactly the same with that, the back and fabric, pass it over. And you're going to line that up to there. And then once we, then we'll stitch them two together. That's going to be the front of our hanging. So right. next week, what I'm going to do is show you how to sew the sections here to make your pockets. So we've nice. got three pockets there. We'll have four there. And then we'll have one on the back. I'm going to make some little tabs next week and put it all together with the back end, and it's finished. Amazing. So, it's yeah, be awesome. so, and like I say, this I use the alphabet and numbers dies and the shape creator, and that's that's all you need to make this whole project. Obviously, and next week, what Absolutely in. brilliant. Make sure you come and join uh, Bernie and myself for that next Sunday uh, to see uh, that awesome demonstration. Now, lots of amazing Saver Stitch deals for you on the show we've got two different uh, patchwork dies so we're going to start with the jewel and the hexagon now uh, the jewel on its own you've got a great deal on the jewel firstly on its own so the jewel on its own should be uh, 24 39 let's just get this so it should be 39.99 uh, uh, 39.95 so you've got a discount on that already 24 pounds 23.98 and then you get that hexagon worth the same for a penny or a cent remember though these deals I normally say these deals last 48 hours that we bring to you however the in for a penny in for a pound ends today what sort of thing would we be able to do with these two Bernie oh, these are fantastic now I've, I've failed because I haven't done prep for the penny one I've done it for the other one but this is the jewel and you can see how lovely they fit together on there but then look how this is the jewel as well we can see how they fit together. Now I've got quickly cut some out so I can quickly show you how they work. And I've used the um, Arley Garden and this is out of the set. So this is the Merlot and the white. But you can see how you, they're just going to fit together and how you'd stitch them together what to a make. beautiful little flower. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? But then when you start doing it in pairs, you get that heart shape. Nice. Isn't that cute? And that's where you can start then putting them, if you want to put them together that way, or you can actually do it into rows. So I'll put another one down just so you can see the effect. And you see there how you start sewing it into rows? Adorable. So you can build it up as patchwork or have it where you can applique it on. And you do exactly the same with the hexagon. Um, this is, I'll show you a quick hexagon one. This is, I mean, this is where the big ones in here, your, your projects come together so quick because you've got those big ones, but then you've got the smaller ones. But also if you use a smaller one and a big one, you can do English paper piecing with them. And yeah. you don't have to worry about cutting those angles out, which is the great thing about our dies, isn't it? You can multi-cut and you don't have to worry about angles. Uh, and you're getting measures. them for less than £20 or $20 as a platinum member. Yeah. They should be £80 <laughs> or dollars, which is amazing. The other one I want to show you is this one just here. So this one here is your fabric strips uh, that you've got just here. So just change those details for you. Here you go. Uh, these should be uh, £30 each. Uh, however, £35 for that one. So you're getting a discount on that one just there, which is brilliant. So it's a 50, uh, you're getting 50% saving there. And then you get the orange peel, worth £25 or $33. It's coming your way for a penny or a cent. $17.50 or $21.98 if you want to get your hands on those. £14 or just over $17.50 if you want those. Now, we're going to uh, go to the shape creators which are these two just here. Now, this one just here, uh, you can see, they should be 20 pounds each or $25 each. So you're getting a discount there. And then you're gonna get the tumbler uh, for free, included, well, for free. I say for free, it's nearly for free, isn't it? It's a penny or a cent, uh, 12 80 or 15 98 You're paying less than you should be paying for one to get both, essentially, which is awesome value for money. Uh, what sort of things are we gonna be able to achieve with these, Bernie? 
I love this. This is so squidgy, isn't it? How gorgeous is this circle cushion? But this is actually the 45 degree diamond, but you can actually put triangles with them as well. And then the tumbler, the tumbler, I think for me, if you've been doing squares and making patchwork pieces with squares, Tumble is a great one to build your confidence as well because again you're putting them together and you can see how they've been put together in strip form and then you just you've got straight stitches you've just got your straight seams and then we've done a squiggly um uh, design a quilting design i couldn't get me me, me head into gear there quilting design on here that just it just pops doesn't it i mean these in those liberty fabrics and then just let me show you quickly how easy they are to cut i've got the this is the say the 45 degree diamond so you're cutting on the fold and if i show you the back of the packaging again we're giving you the details so if you want to cut a full diamond out if you want to just cut the um triangle or you want to cut half diamonds and then sew them together. So what you're going to do is I've got a piece of fabric here and I've just placed it on the fold. And then on here, you've got a placement line. So if I put the placement line, I'll say I'll go for the four and a half inch so you can get a two and a half up to five and a half inch high diamond with this one. So I'm just placing that on there. And then I've got my rotary cutter. Again, like the shape creator, it's got the grooves in. So you're just going to go up. Oh, no, I've, no. I, did, I meant to do the three and a half because I hadn't folded it long enough. That's okay. I shall go up to there. And what happens, I always think this looks a bit like a, like a, um, a TP because it's got the little crosses. The reason it's got those little... Um, over like overhang bits there is for your blade to go into now oh i was going to do right-handed there but i won't not live on telly <laughs> <laughs> again i haven't can you see i haven't moved any of this yep. all i've done is move myself what you could do is move your mat obviously i've got my big a1 mat here but i'm going to take that off and there we go i'm opening that up and i'm getting a perfect nice. And I, if I measure the height here, I can measure it on my um, cutting mat. So I've got one inch, two inch, three inch, three and a half inch. Perfect. So that's your measurement there. And then you can do the same with um, the tumbler as well. The good thing about the tumbler one is if I just quickly bring this quilt back in. So when you cut your full tumblers out, when you get to the edge of your um, quilt or you know cushion, whatever you're making, you're going to need a half tumbler. Because you don't, you, if you cut a full one, you think, oh, well, if I cut it, I'm just going to have to trim it down. Well, with these, that's what you can do. You can cut that half shape. So that half shape is then going to fit in there perfectly and you're not wasting any fabric. So again, you've got the accuracy there. Your shapes are going to be the same every single time. And if you're not into die cutting, which a lot of people aren't, then the shape cutters are absolutely perfect because that, again, it's going to give you those same things and then if as long as you've got decent rotary cutters which we always have on the show that's your set that's that's your next quilt ready you know if you've got if you know someone who's having a baby soon and you're thinking of making a quilt for them the tumbler one to me is perfect excellent Absolutely perfect bernie should we get the uh card of the show well it's not a card oh, is it yeah bag of the show it bag of the be, show uh, absolutely creation of the show let's say uh pat five saying what a great patchwork die bundle set imagine what you can make with those and rosalind saying i need this bag bundle uh, to use up some of my fabric great way of using up fabrics but car uh, creation of the show then bernie i uh, see so you've already got one up as the uh, creation of the week so far maybe this week will be uh maybe this will be the week you get another one up there i know i was shocked because i'd won just the demo of the month the week before i had now with me um norms absolutely so i'm doing well so yeah so we've got is this number one this is the first one i did so number one was the clutch bag which the dies you got for a penny that's the vintage clutch beautiful and then the other one which um producer georgina's eye in up jaw she's got her eyes on it if this doesn't win do you think i should let, her, let georgina have it yes I reckon yeah so. yeah so if this doesn't win it's going to produce a georgina but if it does win it has to sit on the shelf there so you then, are. So that's number two. So number one or one, two, let us know. Uh, number two. In the comments, you've got a few minutes to get your votes in. Crafters TV, if you're over on Facebook. Crafters Companion, if you are over 
uh, on YouTube. We're going to have a look next at these, which are your uh, border quilting pattern guides. Now, these are excellent because each one of these produces uh, well, lots of different ones for you. So this one here is your Geo. You get four different borders in there, as you can see. I'm not sure you can just see that. If you could come see there on the side of the packaging, that gives you a detail of all the different designs you're gonna be able to do. So you've got the Geo, you've got the decorative petal there, and you've also got the jewel, and then the hearts as well. So for a penny, uh, but you obviously you're getting some sort of discount here as well on these uh, quilt and pattern guides as well. 30% off there, and then for a penny, you are getting these. Even if you don't stitch, you could be a you could be a fabulous French mime artist with these, couldn't you, Bernie, for a penny? Imagine that, a mime for a penny. There you go, here she is, she's stuck. <laughs> and then I get confused. <laughs> it's like a side thing, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, you're getting these for a penny. I love these penny deals. I hope we get this uh, this thing back again, the in for a penny, because I like it. Yes, me I too, like some it. great deals. <laughs> so yeah, so these are quilt and pattern guys. So if you haven't used these before, what it's going to do is help you decorate and um, the necessary for when you've got layers of fabric together. So as long if you've got two layers of fabric and a layer of wadding, which is back in stock next week, um, this is where you're going to have a lovely design on here, like this cushion. So this one here, if I turn, actually, let me pull this out so you can see it, and you can see exactly how you can see how that guide is. Oh, I'll get it the right way. There we go. You can see how. The foot, so you need a low shank or a high shank foot for your machine, and that's going to give you this swirling design. Okay? Nice. Now, there's, we've got four in the set. The reason why you need your gloves is when you're stitching, grippy on the top, slippy on the bottom. Perfect. So this is what's helping you. You've got the anti-slip technology on here, which is why it looks like your bathroom window frosted. So both sides, so it doesn't matter which way you have it. And then the gloves as well have the little rubberized tips on the end. And I do use these, as you can see from the color of them, they are well used. So they're not something that I'll get and then just put away. I do use these. Also, if I'm doing a big project and I'm not doing quilting, potentially, sometimes you're moving stuff about and you still need that extra bit of grip on your hands so these are great for that as well and then what you can do is you can just have multitudes of designs i mean we've called these borders but with this one you've got a spiral going on you know so you can make them borders or you can cover you know however big or small a size you've got i mean this is the heart i mean look at that isn't that cute but you can also do it in a circle and to get these markings on here you're going to use your reference guide which we've also got on the show with a deal with the low shank or the high shank foot which you need or the quilt and pattern guides so you can see how everything starts working together and we'll see we've got the different size hearts there and that's just half a heart I like that one that's gorgeous isn't it it's just half a heart it's just so easy this is the decorative petal I mean, that this looks like a ship's is wheel to me. it does doesn't it mm. I just want to get in there with me color with me colored um, fabric pencils that I've been getting I just want to start colouring they look like a medallion as well but then the smaller version and then the strips and then if you need a wider pattern you don't want it to be so close together your petals and then this one is a more this is like more of a geometric one was this the I can't remember what this one's called jaw what was this one called the jewel yes this was the jewel but then again you've got a totally different look by using them in a different way. And then just to mention, lastly, this little bit in here, to say, oh, well, hang on a minute, that's not a dual shape. So what happens is, in some of them, the inside, if you, you've got your guide around here, and we could have just left it as a channel all the way around there, but we thought, no, 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 no. We want to give you more than we can, if, if we can, for your money. So we give you the separate shape inside. So with this one, we've give you the smaller part. And then with this one, we've rounded it off. So you've got that totally different design, which you can use that as petals, as leaves, if you want to put a flower. You know, they are the petals of a flower and just use that section. We also on the packaging give you inspiration to get you started. So we've given you all of this information as well. So these are ideal. And say, again, you've got 
the gloves are just, I mean, for a penny. Yeah, fantastic, aren't they? An absolutely just, brilliant deal on that. Brilliant, isn't it? Uh, if yeah. you want to snap it up, yeah, you're looking at uh, a saving of thirty pound ninety four, forty one seventy four. Something else I want to share with you uh, that Benny is going to take us through is the tall tidy. Do you know what they remind me of? Do you ever remember the like tubs of dates you used to get as a kid <laughs> that your pet grandparents would have, and they'd have like they'd have the slider, wouldn't they? Come out. And they just were those sort of, they were in there, weren't they? And they were like, I don't know if they were candied or normal, but they were always sort of slimy. And my granddad would eat them and they'd make me feel a bit sick. This is much nicer than that. And you're going to be able to fill it with gorgeous things. It's just the shape of the base that looks like the old container. So you can get a discount on one of these and an extra one for a penny or a cent. Loads you can do with these, Bernie. Well, look at mine, Joe. I have got so much in here. And I've still got, if I turn it to the back, I've still got gaps here that I can still fit more stuff in here. It's just, I'm just going to empty this out, Joe. And imagine that if this is in your drawer at home or it's um, on your workbench, I mean, I've got rulers in here. I've got my mitre tool. I've got my scissors. I've got my bias tool. I've got my thing, I still can't remember the name of it. My dobber. Dibber. What was it called? My chopstick, my tape. I've got a rotary cutter in here, my snap punch holy tool, I've got some um, hard bag hardware, markers, tweezers, more scissors, more tweezers, mark I've got a crochet hook, Joe, I have to have a crochet Perfect. hook. Perfect. My glue pen and my heat erasable markers. All of that goes in there. All of it goes in there and that has not misshaped. Amazing. Because it's silicon. So you can put anything in there. Like I say, I've even persuaded Julia to buy buy hers. And this, you know, it's it's just what's back on there. It it just can't you can't break it because it's everything is just going to fit back in. And then I mean, if you've got that mess, how are you going to find something? Whereas if you've got everything propped up in here, you're sitting at your desk and you think, oh, I need my little scissors. You're just going to reach. I need my dobber. I need my tweezers. I need my bias binding tool everything's just it's there it's, there it's great and to have two i mean i i couldn't believe it. seven pound twenty amazing two. value really amazing one value for you and one for someone else or two for you on your desk <laughs> amazing make sure you grab them don't miss out on them i'll let you tidy that up bernie thank you <laughs> i want to whiz back through the fabrics again for you because it is still incredibly busy on these uh, i'm going to try and whiz through them quite quickly for you i know we are running out of time so here you've got they've got hampstead meadow you can also go for this one here your forget me not blossom you've got your arley garden Mary Rose, limited stock on that. If it's in your basket, please check it out. You've got the Emily Silhouette. This is also now limited stock. You'll need to check it out. This one here is your Cosmo Flower. Then you've got the Hampson Meadow Blue. Wild Flower Field, limited stock on the Wild Flower Field. Field Rose there. Chelsea Flower. Mamie, the Malvern, Kensington Gardens, Forget Me Not Blossom Blue, and the Suffolk Field. There you are, you're gonna to need to be quick if you want those. A lot of those very low in stock now. Uh, bag number one, the red one, was the winner, Bernie. Oh, that means Georgina's won the, uh, is won that. <laughs> exactly, so number one, we'll pop that up onto the cabinet of creativity. Uh, Bernie, it's been an amazing show, thank you so much. We'll be back together again. You can't get rid of me now, you got me for a, you got me for a fair few weeks now, I'm afraid. So uh, yeah, I'll see you back here next week. See you next week, Joe, I have it. <laughs> Amazing. Don't forget also about all of the Info a Penny, Info a Pound deals that are happening uh, across on the website at the moment. Don't forget that that ends today, midnight, wherever you are. So if you've been looking at some of those deals, then you are, of course, uh, going to need to be quick for them. Uh, I want to show you what's coming up for the rest of the day. So 3 p.m. here in the UK, it's a launch day with myself and Debbie Fisher. That's, uh, that's actually 10 a.m. Eastern time, not 11 a.m. Eastern time. Oh, you'll be late if you get here at 11 a.m. Uh, and then later today uh, on Crafters TV, 7 p.m. UK time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, a second chance Sunday with Becky and Debbie Robinson. Uh, if you are stateside, don't forget that at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 
uh, which is uh, 10 a.m. Western to, uh, East Coast, West Coast time, uh, we'll have that amazing warehouse clearance. Myself and Sarah will be here for three hours, and that will be over on the Crafters Companion USA page. So it won't be here on Crafters TV. We'll be uh, showing Second Chance Sunday, which has been pre-recorded. You'll need to get yourself over there. Right, don't forget to check out your baskets, especially if you've got those awesome fabrics in there. Uh, make sure you come back and join myself and Debbie Fisher. We'll be back here with you in a couple of hours and as I said get yourself over to the website snap up uh, any of those last minute in for a penny in for a pound deals because it will end tonight at midnight wherever you are whether you're here in the UK or across in the US but I'll see you in about 90 minutes take care